Gilani says, I've been told that we should not direct or show our legs while sitting or sleeping towards the Qibla and towards the Quran. They say that it is a form of disrespecting it. Please guide me. Jilani, as Muslims, and particularly as people from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, the Aqeedah of our Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, of the, the great companions, may Allah be pleased with them, of the Tabi'een and of those who followed the Tabi'een. May Allah have mercy upon them all. Our Aqeedah states that stating something to be good or bad, to be beautiful or ugly, is not dependent on our logic or our own taste, as they say. Because this is the methodology and the aqidah of al-Mu'tazila, which is a deviant sect in Islam, one of the 73 sects that the Prophet has warned us from, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muslims believe that stating this is good or bad is dependent on what the Quran says. It's dependent on what the Prophet ﷺ had taught us. And this is why Islam is not a religion where logic prevails, because logic differs from one person to the other. What you see good, I may see to be bad. It's not something according to our preferences. It is according to the Quran and to the Sunnah. Someone who passes wind is obliged to perform wudu. Someone who burps and gets this wind out of his mouth is not supposed to perform wudu and if he does, then he would be sinful for innovating. Logically, one says, it's the same air that is coming out from different passages. He said, it is not something for you to decide. It is according to the Quran and to the Sunnah. Islam is a religion of cleanliness. So when you want to pray, you have to wash your limbs three times and you repeat this five times a day. Washing your body almost 15 times a day is by all means and standards is something that is clean and beautiful. But if I don't have water, Islam tells me to strike the soil once, wipe my face and my hands. Where is the cleanliness? Logically, this is not correct. Logically, is not related to Islam in such aspects because it is a religion of submission, not of, I will not do what you tell me to do until I believe, until I am convinced that it is logical. No, a'udhu billah. This is the methodology of Satan, of Iblis. Allah tells him, prostrate to Adam, and he objects and says, no, I am better than him. You created me from fire while he was created from clay. So I refuse to, to prostrate to him. So again, Jilani, when we come to an issue as such, which is always prevalent in masjids, when people recite the Quran, they put their backs to the wall and they extend their feet. That is, they extend their legs with their feet directed to the Qibla. And maybe their feet is directed to a place where the Quran is put there and collected. The elders usually come and scold him. You're not supposed to do this. This is disrespectful. This is haram. If you're 
parents were in front of you, would, would you have done this? If your elders were there, would you put your feet like this? And they give a lot of examples and explanations. With all due respect, again, we have to go to the Quran and to the Sunnah. Is there anything that states or indicates that it is not permissible? Not at all. Is there anything that insinuates that it is not recommended, it's disliked, it's makruh? Not at all. So what to do? Generally speaking, if you're sleeping, the sunnah is to sleep on your right hand side while facing the qibla. But if you don't do that and you decide to sleep with your feet towards the qibla, this is totally permissible. Because in order for me to say that this is disliked, in this case, I have to provide the evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah. Stating that it is simply disrespectful or that you would not have done the same thing with your parents is not an evidence. There are so many things I would not do in front of my parents, which I would probably do elsewhere. For example, if I am going around the, the, the Kaaba, uh, the Sunnah is to leave the Kaaba to my left, not to face it. So if my father is speaking to me and I give him my side and I don't face him, this is disrespectful. You cannot have this analogy and put it together and claim that this is respectful, this is disrespectful because the Sunnah tells us that it is prohibited to face or to give you back to the Qibla while answering the call of nature. Full stop. It did not come in other forms to tell us that, well, you're not supposed to do so and so and so and so facing or giving you back to the Qibla as well. Only in answering the call of nature, whether you're urinating or defecating. It did not come to us and say, well, if you pass wind, you must not be facing the Qibla or giving you back to it. So if someone wanted to pass wind and then he redirects himself, again, this is an innovation. Because you're inventing something in Islam, which is not part of it. So people should expand the way they think and broader their way of deciding whether it is halal or haram. So that it fits like a glove with what the Quran and the Sunnah tell us. Instead of inventing things and coming up with things, that are baseless and Allah Azza wa Jalla knows best.